Hello everyone. Today is August 1st, 2019, 3.30 p.m. It is 84 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Celsius. Today I'm going to be taking you on a walk of Hunts Point Avenue in the Bronx neighborhood of Hunts Point. All these people are catching the trains. So this area is a, this area is, what's up? All right. This area is known for the many auto repair places as well as the uh, grocery warehouses and distributors, especially the Fulton Fish Market. Here's Bruckner Boulevard and Hunts Point Avenue. Very busy here, Hunts Point Avenue, but I won't be walking on this side, I'll be walking southeast towards the Fulton Fish Market. I think I'll choose the other side of the street just because it has more visibility from what I can tell anyway. This is just a madhouse of traffic right here. Absolutely crazy. This is New York City, everybody, where traffic rules don't apply to most people and it doesn't get enforced. Wow. Right now is just about the time when uh, most school children get off of school. There's even a bicycle lane here, but it's just chaotic. This is the Bruckner Expressway. This building across the street looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. The roof is in uh, dire condition. The sidewalk isn't big enough here. So you see this uh, neighborhood has its own character of its own. It's got uh, eyebrow and eyelash extensions, pizza place, Pablo's Pizza, a 99 cents discount store. I know there's at least uh, three distributors at the end of the Hunts Point Avenue. It will probably be about half an hour more of a walk from here to the end.
So where I cross under the Bruckner Expressway is the boundary of Hunts Point. It's located on the, um, the South Bronx section. And it was originally a European area that was settled in 1663. So Hunts Point has a lot of... Um, Oh my goodness, that's just so funny. They're saying that they clean the sidewalk and the dog is already taking a poop on the sidewalk there. But yeah, Hunts Point is a cool area. It's got a lot of character and culture. Actually, it has a very difficult pass as well, Hunts Point. Um, especially during the 1960s through the 1990s. There was a lot of uh, abandonment and this area became very blighted. It's still recovering from that time. In terms of the crime rate, this is the 67th precinct out of the 69 patrol areas for the city in terms of per capita crime. Most of those statistics are probably older, but what's up, man? What up, y'all? Yeah, I'm going all the way to the end. Uh, most people are generally friendly and they get along with the neighborhood. There's Lafayette Avenue. Following up on crime as well, I did read somewhere that there's a rumor that this is New York City's uh, red light district as well, but I can't really confirm or deny that because that article that I read was at least a few years old. There's a church across the street, a barber shop, and a grocery and deli. What's up with this car? Something's up with them. Sounds like they're riding on the rim or something. So strange. But yeah, I'm gonna look at the map. At the end, there's uh, two fish stores, the Hunts Point Landing, Plymouth Beef, Nebraska Land, uh, specialty foods distributor, food banks. So a lot of different um, different businesses. This neighborhood is easily accessible with the six train to Hunts Point Avenue within walking distance. And there's also the bus, the, um, the BX6 bus runs along Hunts Point Avenue to the end.
I guess these people must have a problem with dogs pooping and then the owner's not picking up the crap. There's signs everywhere for, for it. Here's a Pena liquor store, big hookah, another barber shop. Coming up is Spofford Avenue. Are you yeah, I'm going YouTube. Oh my God, yeah. My name is Action Kid. All right. Action kid. Huh? Ac action kid, one word. Kid. Yeah. I do walks all around the city. There's the BX6 bus. This uh, school, I'm not sure what um, public school that is. It's always interesting how it's the younger uh, generation, the younger kids who notice that I'm the one who's vlogging. And they're so into it. Makes me so happy that there's a younger generation that may take this up in the future and capture part of New York City in the uh, generation when they live. Hopefully these walks will inspire other people from around the world to make their own as well. It's a nice little street here, a big pedestrian space. So yeah, I did mention about Red Light District. There's one right here for Club W Adult Entertainment. Not endorsing it, because I've never been there. I don't know what, uh, how it is, but there's a lot of auto body shops here, a lot of auto supply stores. That's what uh, Hunts Point is known for. Auto shops and um, distributors. Many of these businesses actually move from Willits Point in Queens next to the city field, the home of the New York Mets. Here's a distributor. I don't know what kind of products that it's uh, sending out. There's a tire supply place across the street, an auto glass business. I wonder when I'm going to reach the uh, grocery distributors and warehouses.
is a truck repair shop. My goodness, when I said auto repair places, I didn't think there would be this many. It's like one business right after the other. And I find it, I find it really, really odd how there's a city bank right in the middle of all this industry. Oh, and there's a produce distributor, Mr. G, International Produce. Here there's a, wow, a lot of products here. It's where a lot of the local grocery stores have their shipments delivered from is Hunt, Hunts Point in the Bronx. Just in that uh, garage, I saw chewing gum and different snacks. So there's a collision specialist there, residential and commercial storage. Lots of cars here that look like I've seen better days and they need to be fixed on. But that's the nature of all these auto supply and repair shops around here. Just judging by the number of stores here, you can probably get a pretty competitive price in Hunts Point in the Bronx. Big truck probably going down to a warehouse to get deliveries. This is a kind of a spooky park. I don't really see any benches here and there's a, a cemetery fenced off area right in the middle with gravestones. Municipal solid wasted. Does smell a little bit pungent. Don't want to stand here too long. There's Kadosh Foods Enterprise. Common Pantry. Here's a bank with an armored car parked outside.
There's a pizza cafe across the street and a cafe and grill. Finally, some eating places. So this is the end of uh, Hunts Point Avenue actually, but there is more to the Hunts Point neighborhood. I'm going to travel south onto Halleck Street to the tip. I think I can go, I just gotta go carefully. It's a very barren and desolate area of the neighborhood right here. There isn't any, any even any sidewalk for me to walk on here. That may be an issue. Although I do see a sidewalk on the other side of the street. Hopefully those big trucks aren't blocking the, the way. Wow, what is this? It's like an art gallery here. New York Giants tax. Looks like a bunch of toys and... It's freaking me out. And what is this supposed to be? Oh. Looks like they're spraying their truck with water. Maybe to cool the engine down or something. So this is the Hunts Point Food Center. The center where most people get their groceries and supplies for the supermarkets. This water smells hard. Actually, I'm not even sure if this water it smells like oil too. the African market across the street, distributors. actually even smells like human feces around here. Wouldn't be surprised if there is actually any real human uh, crap here. There's just random garbage dumped on the sidewalk here. Kind of crazy. Reminds me a lot of Willis Point in Queens. Dumping ground for the Bronx. In Queens, uh, Willis Point, that was an actual dumping ground. There was a dump over there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a 
municipal waste center here as well with all these food uh, distributors. What happens with all the food that, food that isn't distributed and given to the grocery stores? They have to dispose of it somehow as well as all the auto uh, industry. I don't think those that motor oil can be recycled at all either. And all those rubber tires and everything else. There's only so much you can do. Here's some standing water on the other side of the fence. Doesn't look too sanitary over there, that's for sure. Yep, smells horrible here. So I'm looking at Google Maps. There's a wastewater treatment plant to the right here. Here's the New York City Department of Corrections. So most likely this is a jail facility. Here's the Fulton Fish Market, the Western Dock. Nebraska land is to my left. Not exactly sure what they distribute, but it says discover the difference in their slogan. Actually, that trailer has some wording on it. It says uh, beef, poultry, provisions, variety, and smoked meats. It makes sense because uh, there's a there's a store called Omaha Meats in Nebraska. Wow, this distribution center is huge. Soho Seafood, Meat, Digital Enterprises, Captain Blue, all the names of different companies. I guess they make it a lot easier for people to come here and pick up their seafood. My question is where the retail entrance to this food fish market is, if there, is, if there even is one. I'd love to go inside the fish market myself and see what's there.
but it doesn't seem like it's open to regular people to buy fish. They should do it though, I mean. Looks like a cool uh, concept. You can go and get some fresh fish. Yeah, coming back to the uh, train, I won't be walking back. I'll be taking the bus. Actually, the bus just arrived here. So it's good to know. Wow, one bus right after the other. Good to know that they come frequently. I don't know why, but it feels like I'm walking around in circles here. Wow, someone's cycling here in this industrial area. That's really surprising. Look at that, there's a sign for the New York City Department of Sanitation to the right, along with the Hunts Point Landing Fish Market. Let's check it out, I'm here already.
interesting. I don't think I'll be uh, going in there though. It looks kind of big. But here's the sanitation department facility. This is Hunts Point Landing at the tip of the Bronx. Wow, from the looks of it, this is a very surprisingly nice park in such an industrial area. It's got a nice wide walkway, interesting uh, seating, nice water fountain, fountain, bike racks. This stone section is pretty cool. Wonder how big this park is. Wow, public restrooms too. That's amazing. The stones were salvaged from Willis Avenue Bridge, opened in 1901, and they're placed on the site in 2010. Cool. Wow, even an area for fishing. See, there's always, there's always surprise at the end of every video. You may think an area is industrial and full of waste and then there's something really nice at the end. Yeah, it looks like this is the end. There's people fishing there so I won't bother them but that's the Bronx Whitestone Bridge in the background class and point and that's Queens so right across the river the East River all right everyone I'm going to walk back to catch the bus now hope you enjoy this video give it a like if you did subscribe for some more videos click that bell icon so you know when i'll be posting a new video and i'll see you all next time take it easy